Hello, my name is Paul Ferrant. I'm the training director for the Bricklayers Allied Craft Workers, Local 1, Maryland, Virginia, DC. Today I'm gonna to teach you on how to build a seven course block lead. So let's get started. Today we're gonna to be building a seven course block lead. It's gonna have eye wire or tab wire in it. We're gonna be using these tools right here. I'm gonna use my trowel. We're gonna use a four foot level. We have a framing square. We have a brick hammer, a sled runner, an S joiner, a brush, bolt cutters, tape measure, a ruler, and a pencil. So you can see right here, this is my corner that I'm gonna be building. I already have a line already established from a saw cut that's in the concrete. That's where I'm gonna go off of. So how I got this part right here is I did bisecting lines. So I knew exactly right where my corner has to be, and I measured two feet over this way, two feet over this way. I took this mark right here, and I swung it, which would be four feet, and I swung it to get across diagonal right there. And then I did the same thing on this side, lined up over there to this mark right here where it's four feet, and swung and hit this mark here. From this point here, I just chalked my line. From there, I measured over four feet on this side, made my mark right here, then I came on this side and made my mark at three feet which is right there. And then to double check everything, it was a three, four, five, it's a Pythagorean theorem. And all I did was just measure from there to here, from here to here is exactly five feet. So four feet, three feet, five feet. So three, four, five. I'm setting down the level to see how good the concrete is. And you can see right here, it is almost right on. So I'm gonna check this side also to see where we are. And it shows really good. So I'll, now we're gonna do is spread mortar. So you wanna have just enough mortar to put down. The mortar's a little stiff, but that's good because we want to be able to hold the block up. So I'm gonna run this way and I'm gonna run four blocks the length. So I'm just gonna spread just enough to set one or two blocks, and then we'll continue on. So you're gonna grab a block, and you're gonna set it down right on that line. So I just scoop away a little bit of the mortar so I can see where my line is. And I'm gonna check this right here and see that I'm on my cut line. So, now what I'd like to do is just see where I'm at for height. So I'm right on at eight inches. And in this corner, I'm just a little bit above. So I know that my corner's a little off, so I could take a level and tap it down. So I'm gonna check this height again. Right now, I'm right at eight inches, and just at eight inches, you can see right there. Eight inches. Now I'm gonna just keep setting my next block and go from there. So you wanna make sure that you go all far enough. You're gonna to need to go at least four blocks out. Everything's at 16, so I'm gonna to need to come to over here with my mortar. So my next step is to butter my block. I could do it this way, or I could give myself a head joint. As I'm lowering this down, I'm using this trowel to hold the block from pushing out from my point. So I'm gonna just bring this down, even with this block here. Cut my mortar, and I can use this for my next head joint. 
So what you would like to do is get this down as close as possible to your height, because it makes it a lot easier when you set in the next block. And you want to make sure that you, your head joints are packed. That's the weakest part of the wall, is the head joint. So we're right at our, our length right now. So what I'm going to do is scoop up the rest of this mortar and go from there. And then the other side. Spread your mortar, set your blocks, and then level it. So our next course, we're going to be laying mortar down. We're gonna be setting the next block on top of the next course. We're gonna be setting that tab wire, the eye wire. So everything that we did on the first course, we're gonna do on the second course. So now that we have our second course in, it's plumb level and square, we're gonna set our eye wire on our tab wire. So there's, there's an upside and a downside. If you notice that this is welded on top, this would be on the very top. If it was flipped over the other side, it would keep, keep the next course up higher. So there's a proper way of doing it. So when you install it, you wanna make sure that this is close to the edge. I still have to do some cuts and some modifications so that it will bend around the corner. I'll do that right now. You have to be careful wherever you put this that it's not going to interfere with any rebar that might be going in. You can see this is kind of bent a little bit. So you're going to try straightening it out the best that you possibly can. Sometimes when you put mortar down on it, it should hold it with no problem. So you want to make sure that this is close to the edge as possible and then we'll start our next course. All right, that's our top of the seventh course. So what we're gonna do now is plumb and level. And voila, perfect. So I'm gonna just range it out to the other blocks and this, this prevents it from giving a little twist in the wall. Okay, after that, what we're going to do now is patch any holes, which it shouldn't be, and then we're going to strike it. You wanna wait for it to get a thumbprint hard before you strike it. 
So you can see it's, it's pretty good. It could be a little bit harder, but when we go up higher on the wall, it's still a little wet. So we're gonna wait a little bit before we strike it up. So right now, we're going to strike it. We're gonna use a regular S joiner or a concave joint right here. I have my trowel here with just a tad bit of mortar, just in case I find a hole. I put a hole in here, so all I'm going to do is just take my trowel or my joiner and fill in that hole. So what I'm going to do, seeing that this is where you're never gonna see, but it's a good habit to get into by striking it. Now you're going to do is just press against it as you see here, you always do the head joint first. And if there's any holes anywhere, you fill it in. So, once you're done with your work, you joined up everything and everything is nice and clean, you clean up after yourself. Cut the mortar away from the wall, give yourself a nice little edge on it, and you're good to go. In conclusion, we learned about how to bisect lines and chalk lines. From there, we went into spreading mortar and then setting our first block and running our lead out. Then after that, we did the next course, then we set our tab wire. We learned on how to cut it and bend it so it will go around the corner. Then we came all the way up to the very top. We did some cleaning up, then we struck the joints with a round joiner, an S joiner, and a slut runner. We did both sides of the wall. From there, we did some cleaning up, and we're done. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on social media to stay informed on what the BAC Local One is up to, and to be ready for our next video. Until our next lesson, stay safe.